Hi guys and welcome back to WP Data Table Tutorials. So in this video we prepared for you a little, uh, let's say from a start guide, a quick guide on how you can set up your WP Data Tables plugin and create your first table from scratch. So without further ado, let's just dive right in. Okay, so <clears throat> assuming you guys downloaded the plugin uh, from our store, you simply go to add new, select the plugin and upload it by clicking here. So for example, I downloaded it under versions, WP data tables, the latest is 4.4, select and click install now. It's unpacking, it's installing and it's done. When you activate the plugin, you land on the welcome page and here you can see, you can start the, you can view the change log, start the tutorial and basically see what's new in WP data tables. So we can just click on start creating which will open tutorials right here. What we need to do real quick is create a table. For this uh, video, we'll create a table manually. So basically just click on create a table manually, click next and here we go. So this will be a video table. That will be the name of the table. Here we'll have first name, then last name. These are both string columns. Then we have age, which will be an integer. Then we have a hiring date, which will be uh, the date. And we can simply create a table by opening it in a standard or an Excel-like editor. We'll open it in a standard editor and we'll see an empty table. Before you can apply any changes here, uh, you need to add one row because these tables are added to the database so it needs some data in here so let's see hiring date I'm actually I believe I'm actually selecting the real date here but anyway let's add the first line okay here we go so this is the first line in the table and here we can toggle collapsing and mobiles and tablets uh, we can hide the table until it's fully loaded uh, we can enable editing on the front end uh, this is the default column for editing for manual tables. It's hidden because you actually don't need it, but it's representing the row ID. So you can click on the columns and enable the viewing option. So you can actually see this. Um, let's add a few more options. And 22. 22, <laughs> okay, yeah. <laughs> um, let's go back to 2021. August 12th and hit OK. OK, now when we save the changes, we can basically either copy the short code and add it to the page or we can simply click here, add a new page and close this dialog. We'll add it video table and click edit with Elementor. Um, with Elementor, you can actually type in WP data tables here and click on it and drag it here. I don't know why it didn't load the logo, but it should be there. Anyway, uh, we select the only table that we currently have and the basic uh, view is the regular view, but you can also choose the Excel like. These are placeholders which we covered in one of our previous videos. We will link that video below so you guys can check it out if, if you need it to. Exactly. And this uh, video here is actually to show you how fast you can create a simple table and view it on the front end. So here it is. This is the table that's that we've created in the back end. And as we enable editing, we can add a new entry. For example, let's use John Doe, our most common um, user. <clears throat> user, that's right. And he's been here since, I don't know, 1965 and 8th of July and okay yeah he's um, he's way too young to start to have started working in 65 <laughs> but you see what I mean um, anyway with the the table options that you can now edit in the back end since you added a couple of rows uh, you can modify these so these are table tools uh, and you can currently see print, Excel, CSV, or copy, uh, which are these right here. You can also enable the PDF option and column visibility. 
So when we save the changes and refresh the page, we can actually uh, export the table into PDF or choose which column we want to hide or show. Basically, this is a simple, fast rundown of how simple it is to get started with WP data tables. Great, thank you, Alexander. You're welcome. And hopefully you guys found this interesting. Of course, if you need any more tutorials on any other options or different ways how you can create your tables, this is just one of them. We have done previous videos on, that, on those topics. And of course, there is always our documentation, which has detailed step-by-step -step explanation how you can create any table and also chart in WP data tables. And if you have any other suggestions, please leave those down below in the comments. And while you're there, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Thank you guys for watching. Take care, guys. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.